everyone, welcome to Karen's Corner. Today it's Creative Wednesday, so let's get creative. Um, today we're going to work with Tim Holtz's Distress Stains, and they're from Ranger. And these are awesome for making backgrounds, and you can do so much with Distress Stains. I really love these, and I've got almost all colors, and that's a lot. <laughs> so, um, but I'm not going to make backgrounds with this. Today we're going to use it in a fun way. We're going to make splash cards. Uh, that's just how I call them, because, uh, well, you find out. When you buy them, first of all, you have to put this on the paper and press until you hear a little click, and then it comes out. And you can see how easy this is to use for backgrounds. But today we're gonna do something different. So I'm gonna take another piece of paper, because this one is wet. That's my chair, by the way. <laughs> okay. So, splash cards. You take this and you just do that. Splash. And uh, you have to try them out first, because some are really wet and they splash immediately. And other ones you have to spray a little water on there, because uh, it's not wet enough. But I'll show you while I'm working. This card is 9.5 by 14 centimeters. And I just take this one, this one is called Spice Marmalade, and just go splash. And one over here. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> I love doing these cards, they're so fun. So I've got the peeled paint. And well, this one looks really wet, so I don't have to try it. So I'll just go splash and splash. <laughs> and then I'll take the crushed olive. The crushed olive I'm gonna mist with a little water. You just, can you see that? You just mist some on the top. And just go splash. And another splash over there. Got some lighter colors. This is the scattered straw. And as you can see, can you see that it does almost nothing? So you gotta sp oh, <laughs> spritch it a little and go splash, splash. That's nice. One over here. Look how gorgeous that is. You know what? I want one over here too. Splash. <laughs> So now I'm going to take my heat tool and dry it. You don't want these colors to really blend too much, so I'm going to stop with my heat tool now. I'm going to take a piece of kitchen roll and just put it on there. So look how gorgeous that looks. Isn't that awesome? So I can dry this a bit more. That should be dry enough. So I'm going to take uh, another one of these. Because uh, this is really wet, you have to be careful what you do. Um, so you don't stain your card. But this is dry enough, so I can use this one again. Now I'm going to stamp sentiment on there, and I thought that the stamping up pumpkin pie would go really well with the orange. So, I'm going to use that one. Hope you have a very special birthday. I always try my stamps first. Yes, it looks okay. So here we go. So now I'm going to take Distress Ink Vintage Photo, because I really love that color. And take a little kitchen sponge and just go around the edges. Edges? Edges. <laughs> and it makes it look really a bit distressed. I like it when I do that. Look how, much, how different this side is to this side. That's great. So now I'm going to put this on a card. See how easy that is and how fast these cards are. I like cards that are really easy to make. So I like this color. And I think I like a bit of glitter on here. And I've got these colors. 
and they're so gorgeous. So I'm going to stick one of these in the middle to give it a bit of extra bling. Look how great that is. Want these two feel left out now? <laughs> no, I'm gonna keep it like this. I like this. And maybe, do I have a yellow one? Yeah. A small yellow one. And one over here. Look how great that is. So, as you can see, it was a very, very easy to make card. So, I'm gonna show you another one. Just put these ones aside. So, next up, I'd like to make a little Christmas card. Because, well, it's a bit early still, but it's, it is almost Christmas. So I've got festive berries. Ooh, that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is just splash, splash, splash. <laughs> and this one is really wet because I splashed it all over here. Okay, then I've got the green one. That's wet too, so splash, splash, splash. And this one actually really has to dry very well because I used a, used a bit of coated paper. You can see it's shiny paper. So I'm gonna dry it. So I'm gonna take another piece of paper. Kitchen roll, just put it on there. Your hands will look really nice when, once you're done. Look how gorgeous. And what I really love to do, and you'll see that a lot in my uh, videos, is just Put a stripe over here with gold pen and another one and you'll never get it straight and that's the fun of it. It looks a bit... Um, I have no idea how to say how it looks, but I like the way it looks. Let's just say that. Look how gorgeous that is. I love this. I use it in my smash books and everywhere. That looks great. So now I'm gonna make some lines up, up there and up there and up there. Can you guess already? <laughs> I think they're Christmas bulbs. Do you say Christmas bulb? Yeah. So I'm gonna give them a little bow. They're hanging from this cord. Cord. Look how cute. We have to watch out, my hands are really dirty. So now I'm gonna take the pine needles, same as this one, but the Distress ink, and I'm gonna give it a Merry Christmas. Okay. Ooh, I hope this will go on straight. Oh, look how cute that is. Merry Christmas. This card it's really easy to make and it's a fun Christmas card and it's not your standard Christmas card it's something completely different and uh, I think a lot of people will like this so now we've got two cards we've got the Christmas card and the happy birthday bit autumny card and because these are so easy to make I'm gonna show you another one so here we go I'm gonna take this paper again and I'm gonna use these great colors. <laughs> Look at the colors. This is pink raspberry, this is ripe persimmon, I hope I pronounced it right, mustard seed, and a bit of broken china. And look at what we're gonna do with that. So let's start off with the picked raspberry. And I don't really have to spritz a lot, <laughs> spritz lot of water on there because uh, I made, before I made this video, I practiced a bit and then I spritzed water on almost all of them. And they stay wet for a very long time, so I can just go ahead and do that. See? <laughs> and one over there, and one over there. They're still very wet. So, next I'm gonna take the ripe persimmon. Persimmon? I still don't know. Over there, and one over there. And now for the mustard seed. Look, that makes it really sunny. But I want another color in there, so this is broken china. And there's just gonna be a few of them. One over here, 
half over there and a bit over there. Look how great that looks. So of course you have to dry it a bit. And then of course I'm going to take a piece of kitchen roll and dab the rest off. Look how great that looks. Isn't this a sunny card? So I'm going to dry it again. And guys, look how great the background looks. You can use this for other stuff. Um, I really like this, but I want to do something more. So I've got these. These are irresistible. They really are by Imagine Crafts, I think. And uh, these are really fun to use. I've got a bluish one. I've got an orange one and somewhere I had a yellow one. Oh, it disappeared on me. Uh, this is gold actually. So, so I'm gonna open this by just getting this off and look this is a little needle inside of this and it's hard to get back. I have to take off my glasses for that but uh, it makes sure that the nozzles uh, won't get cluttered. I always try a bit. Okay, look what I'm gonna do. Can you see that? Yeah. Here we go. I'm gonna just make a little nice swirl. And one over here. I'm gonna clean it and try to get this thing in there again. <laughs> uh, right, this is really fun, but yeah, it works. It works really well. It's hard to get it back, but it stays unclogged. So again, try it out on a piece of paper. And I'm gonna do the blue ones. Just a little bit. Take melon mambo, mambo, yeah, melon mambo from. Um, let me try this out. Uh, melon mambo from Stamping Up, and I'm just gonna put. Enjoy the magic of your day. Oh my God, I didn't get the e. Well, uh, I've got also got uh, pens in this color, so when it's dry, I'm gonna try and color it in with a melon mambo. I'm gonna make the E right. I even tried it and I could see that the E wasn't right but I was just too quick with it. I should have pushed that a bit harder. That's why I always stamp on paper first and I did but I just didn't pay attention because I'm making this video. <laughs> but anyways I can fix it. So I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna put it on a card and I'll show you the end result in just a minute. So here's the finished product and doesn't it look festive? And as you can see that this, uh, it, when it's dry, it doesn't go flat. It stays a bit uh, puffed. I don't know how to say that in English. But anyways, it's on top of it. It has a bit of structure now. And this is a really fun card to send someone uh, for his birthday or just to send someone a very happy card. So there you have it. This cute festive card and a really beautiful autumn-y birthday card and uh, a Christmas card all with the distress stain splash method <laughs> so you really have to wear an apron for this and look at my hands they're really dirty so watch out you don't get smudges over there and uh, clean your desk uh, after you're finished because it's gonna be everywhere but just take a, a, a baby wipe or just uh, a cloth with some water on it and you can wipe it all away. So I hope you enjoyed this video of these really easy to make cards with your distress stain. You can do something really different with it than you're used to. I used to do the standard things you do with this distress stain and I'll make another video about that. But um, this was really fun. I just smash it on the paper and you get that and it's really nice to do. So I hope you're gonna take out your distress stains and start smashing it on paper and make lovely cards. And if you like this video, give it a big 
thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my Creative Wednesday videos and my other videos about stuff I like, please subscribe to my Karen's Corner channel. And, um, well, I also have a Dutch Kitty Fan channel because I'm a really a Hello Kitty fan. You can check that channel out too if you want. And I've also got a new channel with my daughter together. It's called Toys and Us and we're just opening blind bags and having lots of fun. <laughs> so go check that out if you like. I'll leave a link on the end screen. And, well... See you next time. Bye.